Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for November 15th through the 30th. So what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of November? Cobweb. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. You're protected. Thank you, God. Ladder. Climbing towards success. Cain. Pay attention to your health. I mean, you need to really pay attention to your health during the end of this month. August. Somehow August is prevalent. I don't know how you figure it out. Something with the month of August. Something may have happened in August that is coming back around now. Um, something could be happening uh, next August. You could be dealing with somebody that is born in August. Um, whatever's going on, August is, is relevant. Uh, Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Pay attention to your health. You are climbing towards success. It doesn't get... That's great. I love it. You are protected. Put that one right there. Because I don't got room for four. I oh, can put that one. So what do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? Sun. Sun, happiness, extreme happiness, great health, shining, glowing. Uh, extremely happy time. This is a this is a new day, a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. This is uh, on fire, really. I mean, very, very hot, you know. Um, it's interesting because I had the heat on. I was going to tell you that I was going to leave the heat on, but I, I turned it off because it was too loud. Something about the heat. I think that the heat will be on you, you know. You will be feeling very hot or feeling very warm. Yeah, you may be radiating. You may be, being, be radiating a very bright light around you. Um, this is a card of uh, vibrance, right? Of great health and happiness. So, I mean, it, it's, it's beautiful. That's a yes card. It's where you can just be yourself. You're accepted. Your health is, is getting better. It's very positive, life-giving energy. New day, new beginning. Oh my goodness. Judgment. Judgment. Judgment is release. Absolution. It is the end of things. It's rising. It is rising. And the sun rises as well. So you are really going to be climbing. You're going to be rising. You're going to be rising your vibration for one. But you're going to be rising above some sort of darkness. It's like from darkness to light. You're going to be really... Uh, oh, this is making some sort of judgment call as well. It's the end of a trial. It's the end because this is an ending. Okay, this is, You're going to be really happy with the outcome. Put it that way. You are. You're going to be very, very happy with the, with the verdict. Whatever the verdict is, this is definitely a happy verdict. I'm going to make that my thumbnail. I mean, it is. This is a renewal, definitely. A renewal of something. Now, this is a new life. Because this is a new life. It is, it's a new life. Six of Cups reversed. Moon. All is not as it seems. There are hidden forces here. 
This is darkness. This is light. Interesting. Now, Six of Cups reverse is packing up, leaving home, leaving the past behind. Uh, this is the end. Now, this is the end. This is the pa this is the card of the past, and this is the card of the past. So you have two cards, of the and this is too. So we have three cards of the past here. So you have a new beginning here. Maybe it's about releasing the past. You're going to be releasing something from the past. Past karma? Hmm. Now, this is ruled by the shadow. Always not as it seems. Something is hidden. Something is below the surface. This is freedom from obligation. Which is going to make you extremely happy. Something is going to go in your favor. You may not see that it is. You may be fearful because this is fear. But I'm telling you right now, whatever this is, it's very, very positive. This Six of Cups reverse has to do with releasing the past. And I don't, a lot of, some of you don't want to do that, but you have to do that. This is about, this is about releasing the past. This is packing up. This is, this is, uh, nothing stays the same. This is a new day. It's a new, it is, it's a new day for you. It's a new life. This is the beginning of a new life. My goodness, look at the majors. This is universally driven. This is the universe. The universe is saying it is. This is a transformation. The chariot is a card of transformation. It is about moving. Some of you are moving. You're moving to a new home. Okay. You may be planning it. <laughs> the chariot is uh, packing up again with that six of cups. It's, somebody is packing up. They're packing up and they're moving. Um, it is the end. It's the end of a situation. It's the end of. Uh, an unhappy situation. You're about to be extremely happy, put it that way, with an outcome. Um, getting in the driver's seat, taking control, taking charge, very determined to be successful, uh, disciplined, you having a lot of discipline, taking charge, being the boss, being in control, moving in the right direction, leaving your fears behind, leaving the past behind, moving in a positive direction. You are definitely headed in the right direction, Virgo. Whatever is going on, you this is very, very, very positive. That moon is the only problem, okay? That's an unclear and difficult path ahead. That means you may still have you know, there's fear of the unknown here. You may be fearful of the unknown. You may It may still be unclear, but I see you finding the strength and the determination to replace that fear with faith and go anyway. All right? I see. I feel like you guys are really... Nobody can stop you. It's like you are unstoppable at this point. Okay? You're able to control your de emotions. You're very determined. You're moving forward. You have a lot of self-discipline and self-control. You're working very, very hard. And I feel like you're taking a journey. For some of you, you are you're traveling or you're moving. Uh, you could be moving into a new place. Uh, whatever is going on, it looks very, very, very positive with that sun card. Okay, that is, that's a, that is the beginning of a new life. Okay? Um, now judgment is about truths being revealed as well, or truths being accepted. Okay. You may be accepting something about your past, you know, six of cups about the past, about the memories. Okay. You may be having to leave something behind. You're obviously going someplace. You may be having to leave something behind. Um, hang man. Hangman reverse. I don't know. Uh, this is a Pisces and this is a Pisces. This is a Cancer. This is a Cancer. So you have Pisces and Cancer here. You have Scorpio. You have Leo. Um, anyway, Hangman reverse. That is struggling to let go. Hanging on. Obsessed. Obsessed with control. There is somebody here that is obsessed. They're obsessed with hanging on. Hanging on to somebody that probably has secrets. You gotta, you gotta let go of that. You gotta let go. You gotta let go of, and it could be addictions even with the moon card. There's something that you need to let go of that you are obsessed with. And maybe it's somebody in the past. 
memories. Now this is about memories. It's it's uh, romanticizing. Okay. Nothing stays the same. It's time to let go of something. This is refusing to go in and struggling to let go, obsessed with control, not learning a lesson. Now this may be somebody that you're moving away from because I see you're moving or you're headed in a new direction, whatever that means. This, this could even be struggling to let go of an addiction, okay? You may be, but I see you very determined to succeed and, and succeeding, okay? This is a card of transformation. So you may be letting go of something this month, letting go of an addiction. Knight of Coins reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. Now the Knight of Coins, let me make sure this is zoomed. There we go. The Knight of Coins reversed is... Uh, not practical, not moving, being stuck, needing to make a move, needing to be practical. I wonder if you've got an ex. The Knight of Coins in Reverse can be an ex-partner, especially right next to that Six of Cups. You know, struggling to let go of that ex, you know. Maybe you have a lot of memories or you have kids with that ex. You know, but that judgment is, is a resolution. It's absolution. It is the end. It's final. And it, I don't know if you're going to court. You could be in court. You may, you may finalize things or you may start the process, whatever it is. Um, whatever is happening, I feel like, uh, we do have a resolution. I, I, because of that judgment card, that's a resolution. That's, that's, uh, acceptance. It's being held accountable. Somebody's going to be held accountable for their actions. They're going to be judged. Somebody's going to be judged. There's karma here. Put it that way. There's karma or there could be even universal law or there could be, you know, earthly law, whatever it is. It's like there is universal law here. And I mean, you are protected. We saw that earlier. I feel like you are protected. I feel like you are headed in the right direction. I think that you are going to survive. You may have hit rock bottom or you may have been in a situation. Maybe it was a near death experience or you felt like it was with the Ten of Swords reverse. You, you know, you felt that it was very challenging for you. But I think that you, you may be down for a minute, but I think you're going to pick yourself up really, really, really fast. Um, that's freedom. That Ten of Swords is lip reverse is the liberation. It's freedom, freedom from obligation, freedom from the past, freedom from something. You're going to be freed from something. You're, and, I, and maybe it's an addiction. I feel like it's an addiction with that moon card. Um, that night and that and addiction can be codependency, something you've been codependent on. Anyhow, um that night of pentacles reversed and that hangman, there's both obsession, both obsessed, obsessed with something. Obsessed with control. Somebody is obsessed with control. They need to let go. They need to go with the flow. Take steps. Let go of fear. Step outside of your safety zone. It's, maybe it's time for you to step outside of your safety zone. Stop procrastinating. Somebody's been procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. Whatever. Stop wasting time. Ten of Swords is, uh, and next to that Knight of Coins reverse, not putting in much effort, not putting in much effort to let go. Somebody needs to put in more effort. What the hell? Ten of Swords reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. It's suffering, but it's the end of suffering. It really is. Ace of Wands, new life. 
This is go for it. This is exciting, exciting new opportunity. That is a new life. It's a new vision, new drive, new desire. You got a new life here. This is the beginning of a new life. It's very, very exciting. This is a new spark. Revived. It's a revival or something like that with that judgment card and the sun card. So it's like this is definitely a breakthrough. This is surviving the worst. It's like surviving the worst has happened. You survive. You pick yourself back up and you move. You move in a new direction. This is a total transformation for you. It is. That's chariot is transformation. Ace of Wands is just go for it. You will be accepted. You will be accepted. You will be happy. You will be healed. You will heal. You will be glowing. There's forgiveness here. You will be forgiven for whatever, I don't know what it is, but forgiven for something. Because judgment is a card of forgiveness, and that's why I say that. I wonder if there's going, for some of you, I don't know who, but there may be a reconciliation with somebody from your past. Because the Judgment card, the Six of Cups are right there. There could be a fresh start with that Ace of Wands. I don't know who wants that. If you do, then good for you. But I also see needing to let go of the past. And maybe it's the past mistakes. Maybe it's the past not putting in effort. This could be something coming back from the dead. You know, the Ten of Swords reversed, you know. New life, new vision, new desire. No new will to live, new will to transform. You know, you do. I feel like you got this new passion, this new, new passionate beginning here. It's almost like you're on fire as well, okay? You're on fire. It's like nobody can stop you. This is the, this is the, the yeah, I feel like the second, the two weeks of November, you know, um, you've, you've passed some sort of test. And you are climbing towards success. This, I, for a lot of you, I think this may have to do with health. And mental health is part of health. Now that ten of, that ten of swords reversed, I mean, I don't know if there's, I don't know what that is. That is, uh, let me get one more card. investment now ten of swords reverse it's liberty freedom relocation it's time to go it, this is really a lot about relocation whether this is job related or home related or whatever it is uh, some of you are going are definitely going to be relocating you may have hit rock bottom in a situation okay this is this is definitely going someplace else it's over. This season is over. That part of your life is over. Whatever that means, that part of your life is over. It's time for you to start fresh. You're going to be starting a fresh, starting with a clean slate. And I don't need the tower and I don't need the fool. It's like you're going to be given the chance. This is a chance. A chance to start fresh. A chance to live a different life. Whatever the hell that means. But you're going to have to let go of fear because I, I can see your fear. There's fear here. Okay, there's fear. There's fear of the unknown. There's fear of stepping outside of your comfort zone. You're, you're restricting yourself because of your thoughts. Your thoughts are causing you to play it safe. You need to step outside of the safety zone. 
unbound yourself, unbind yourself, untie yourself, break free. It's like you're you're tying yourself to your to a situation that you don't need to be tied to. Break free from it. Open your eyes and get out of there, whatever it is. It's almost like you're choosing to ignore something, choosing to stay in a place that you don't want to stay. If you don't want to be there, go. It's definitely time. I feel like you've worked really, really hard at something. Now it's time. So I feel like this month you're going to be getting a chance of a lifetime, whatever that means. And this is the end of the month. This is a chance. This is extreme, it's good, extremely good health, extremely happy, bliss. Good luck.